How's it going everybody? Uh, my name is Wash Graham and today we're back with more Kickstation informational video content and today we'll specifically be talking about the new mass edit feature and a preliminary note is that we have a full guide that covers all of this information that is posted in discord and I'll also link in the description of this video. You should definitely read this entire guide as well as watching this video and between those two resources you should be able to have basically any questions you have about this feature answered. Uh, one more small note before we go any farther in the video is that a monitoring task like this one I have here for Air Jordan 1s uh, can't be edited using the mass edit button. To edit a monitoring task you still need to click the monitor button on the top uh, row on the dashboard and then just create a new monitoring task. If you've recently created a monitoring task all of the inputs will be saved right here in the task creator function so if you want to just change the size breakdown or the keywords or the price check pretty quickly, you can just edit them there and then click save and then it'll make a new monitoring task for you. The mass edit function is just for regular tasks. And then an interesting note is that the mass edit bun button won't be able to be clicked if you don't have a task highlighted. So even if you just want to edit one, which wouldn't really make sense for mass edit, uh, you can just click one and then you can mass edit. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna edit uh, three tasks. So first I'm gonna remove the watchdog from all of these. I'm just gonna do two. So I'm gonna hold down shift to highlight those two, and then I'm gonna click mass edit here. And as you can see, uh, retry delay is the only setting that is defaulted to the on switch. And as you can see with all the other ones, there's an on or off switch. And basically, like I've been saying, these work as switches. So you click one, and then it turns on. You click it, and it turns off. So the reason why we have retry delay as defaulted to on is that that's definitely the most popular function that users might want to change uh, on the go or really quickly. So already having it turned on saves you a, a little bit of time if that's the only thing you want to change. So let's say I wanted to decrease my delay. Like before a drop, I had my retry delay really high so my proxies don't get banned. So maybe I want to change it down to under 1,000 milliseconds. So I can just quickly do 500, tab, 700, and then click save. And then from there on, you can see that if I edit this task here, my retry delays are now 500 to 700. You might notice that the mass edit screen actually looks like the task creation screen. Here at the top, you have the type of website. You have the type of task for Foot Locker. You can only use the SKU, but for others, for other uh, Shopify sites like Kith, you might want to change it from uh, variant to link or link keywords to link or something like that. Uh, here, the actual input of the monitor, if you want to change the SKU really quickly. Uh, if you want to change your size breakdown, you can use size groups as we talked about several updates ago or just choose a normal size you can change the profile that you want to have on the task uh, you can turn off price check or turn it on uh, you can change the proxy lists both the monitoring and the checkout ones and then you can also change the payment method quantity and the mode uh, and then for this case it's just desktop mode yes or no for foot sites the unique thing that we've done with tks with mass edit is that we've given users one menu by which they can edit as many or as few settings as they want. Uh, a lot of users will probably only ever use retry delay uh, because for some other things that they might actually change the tasks more than they want. But for a quick edit, like in the middle of a release or right before a drop goes live, uh, retry delay is definitely the easiest one to toggle. And that's why we turned it on by default. But we've created an easy, easy to use mass edit menu uh, where you can edit as many or as few tasks as you want. So other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory uh, just by clicking on and off to change something or to not change something. And that's about it. Just remember always to click save at the end or just remember to always click save at the end or else your settings won't be changed and you'll still be stuck with the same settings you had before. So that's really about it for mass edit. As you can see, it's a pretty simple feature with just one menu that you can change settings on. Uh, we hope that users can start using this to their advantage during releases as it really is a useful tool. And yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, just remember that there's a link to the guide in the description and in the support discord. And if you have any other questions past that, you can always send a message to, to a moderator and we'll be happy to help you. So thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like, uh, drop a comment, subscribe, and tune in next time for some more Kickstation uh, video content.